Now we will discuss about the voltage regulation. What exactly the voltage regulation is. In a simple manner, voltage regulation is the fluctuation in voltage from um, secondary to the primary. And the, the, its definition could be like uh, the change in secondary terminal voltage uh, when load at a given power factor is reduced to zero uh, with primary applied held constant. And mathematically, I can write voltage regulation as V2 and no load minus or V2 on full load divided by V2 on full load into 100%. I can also write this thing as I into R cos phi plus minus x sin phi divided by v2. So this change from no load to full load in secondary terminal voltage is due to leakage impedance of the transformer. Therefore, uh, all the distribution transformers should have a small value of voltage aggregation. It means uh, good voltage aggregation so that the terminal voltage at the consumer premises does not vary much. We know that we have uh, lightings over here, we have fans, we have very precious equipment running. So the voltage fluctuations will not be uh, desirable at the premises of our customer. So uh, that is why the uh, voltage regulation of distribution transformer should be as good as possible. Means there should be less fluctuation in voltage. So, distribution sh transformer should be designed to have low volume of leakage impedance. This is very important point that distribution transformer should have very low leakage impedance. This is this point is very much important regarding objective type of questions. Now coming to now coming to conditions for maximum voltage regulation. What's the maximum voltage regulation when uh, what is the condition exactly? So if I differentiate this with regard to dt and put it as 0, the regulations dt and if I put it as 0, what I get negative of r sin phi plus minus or whatever plus x cos phi is yes. so here I will get 10 phi will be equals to x by r. Yes. Or I can say cos phi will be equals to r upon r square plus x square, which is also equals to r by z. This is for lagging. Which is very much important. So, this equation implies that the voltage regulation is maximum when load power factor is equal to equivalent impedance. This equation implies that, that the voltage regulation is maximum when load power factor is equal to equivalent impedance. So, we have seen the condition for maximum voltage regulation. So we should know also the condition for. Uh, zero voltage regulation or minimum voltage regulation. What is that? Again, I will put this thing to zero that R cos phi minus of 
sin phi x sin phi I will put it as 0 what I will get 10 phi is equal to r by x which is at leading which is at leading so I can from here I can say that cos phi is equals to x by under root of r square plus x square which is equals to x by z which is again leading as I said so this equation shows this equation x by z shows that the leading power factor del equation the voltage regul regulation is negative it means that the secondary full load voltage is greater than the no load voltage. Again coming to this point, this equation so shows for leading power factors, the voltage regulation is negative. It means that the secondary full load voltage is greater than the no load voltage.